Namaste, welcome back to the online yoga teacher training course. In the previous session, we figured out what the directional terms of anatomy as well as the anatomical body planes of humans are. In this session, we are going to figure out the beginning and the introduction of the skeletal system. But before that, I request you all to begin this session with a Gayatri Mantra. Simply sit in any meditative posture. Join your index finger with your thumb, spread the rest of the three fingers away from each other, palms facing the ceiling and spread your shoulders back, lengthen your spine, close your eyes and relax while you're slowly breathing in and out of your body. Please spend these few moments very comfortably, allow your breath to gather your awareness and attention to the present moment and just relax. This is the most personal time you can spend with yourself throughout the day. So appreciate these few moments of complete relaxation. A gentle smile on your face. And observe the passage of your breath moving in and out of your body. As soon as you feel that you've gathered the complete attention to yourself, slowly bring your hands in front of your chest without opening your eyes. Touch the heart center with the back of your thumbs. Now we'll begin with the chanting of the Gayatri Mantra. If you know the mantra, you can chant it with me. Otherwise, you can always repeat it afterwards. Slowly take a deep inhalation. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Deva Syadhi Mahi Dhyo Yona Prachodayat Having absorbed the vibration and the benefits of the mantra, before opening your eyes, start rubbing your palms and generate some energy between your hands. Cover your eyes with your palms, transfer this energy to your eyes first, then you can massage your face, the back of your neck and wherever you wish to transfer this energy to, once again fold your palms, bow down to your fingertips and very slowly Open your eyes with a few blinks. Welcome back. So, what do you understand about the skeletal system? The, the skeletal system forms the framework of the human body as it is. There are so many important things that the skeletal system offers to human beings in our everyday lives. So many things that you can already observe by simply looking at a human being. And there are other things which the skeletal system does inside your body which a normal layman person may or may not be aware of as well. Let's think about what role does the skeletal system play inside the human body, inside our everyday lives. Framework. Framework providing the structure, the posture, the frame as it is without the skeletal system. Imagine what your life would have been like with only muscles, organs and nerves. Apart from that, you are only having skin to completely cover all of it and no bones inside the human body. What do you think your body would be capable of doing at that point? The structure, the framework, the posture, as well as the limitations that the human body has in case of movements is also because of the skeletal system. Apart from that, the skeletal system is also plays a very big role when it comes to moving around. How? The skeletal system is the point where the muscles connect with each other and of course it is the muscles which facilitate the movement of the human body but without providing the support to these muscles, 
which they are getting from the skeletal system, movement would not have been possible because there would not have been any fulcrum, any support to these muscles in the first place. Think about what other benefits are there with the skeletal system. What other roles does the skeletal system play in your lives? You have blood flowing throughout your human body. There is inside the blood as well. There are three different types of cells which flow freely throughout the body. The red blood cells, the white blood cells and the platelets. All of these cells inside the human body are produced inside the bones of the skeletal system of any organism, not just human beings, any organism has these three properties happening inside. What other role can you think of when it comes to the functioning of the skeletal system? Um, let's, let's think about the intelligent aspect of the skeletal system of the different bones inside the human body. Let's think about the intelligence that is involuntary in nature. Something that you do not need to pay attention to, but still happens on its own. Due to the connection to the brain, due to the connection to the, through the nerves and all of the properties that happen in order to maintain a condition of homeostasis inside the human body, the skeletal system has the property of being able to absorb and release a lot of chemicals, a lot of um, chemicals in the form of calcium, phosphorus and other minerals that flow around freely inside the human body as it is. All of these things, they are happening just because of the skeletal system. I cannot imagine my life would have been so productive, would have been so interactive with the outside world if at all I did not had a proper structure of the skeletal system inside my body. There are about 206 bones in an adult, which are obviously, I am sure you are aware, which are more than 206, approximately more than 300 bones are there when a human being is born as a newborn child. More than that, what you do not know probably is that a newly born child does not have any bone inside the human body. It only has cartilage, which over time develops and this whole process of development of bones from cartilage inside the human body happens over a span of at least 20 years in a normal human being's life. What other roles can you imagine the skeletal system providing to you? I want you to go ahead and think about the properties, think about, um, you know, think about the structure, Think about how the skeletal system is able to protect your internal organs inside the human body. There are so many places where the bones, especially the skeletal system, plays as the defense mechanism for all the external accidents that could damage the internal organs. The easiest example of that would be the bones of the head. The skull itself has a lot of small bones which are fused together to provide a complete shield to the brain. The brain, as you obviously understand, is such a vital organ to the human body. It is very well protected naturally with the fusion of these different bones coming together. If you are aware of the spinal cord which runs from the back of the brain, moving on to the lowest part of the spine, it is very well protected with the help of the vertebral column inside the backbone of the human being. Apart from that, you know the lungs, the respiratory system, the cardiac system, the heart, all of it is well protected inside the covering of the rib cage. <coughs> so many properties, so many functions, such an important system in the human body. Very interesting as well. And most importantly, this is the system which you as a yoga teacher will be working most with. Apart from that, of course, there is the skeletal system. But Proper understanding of the skeletal system is very vital for you to become a good yoga teacher. This is all for today. <coughs> I'll see you again next time. Until then, Namaste. Namaste.